Hey, what's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day and welcome to my studio. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at More Today Than Yesterday by Spiral Staircase. This song is a great song to work on your rhythm playing. There's two main sections. I'm gonna break down both parts for you, and we're gonna learn just how to play a steady four rhythm, and you can practice this along with the original recording. Before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to hit subscribe. If you're new here, we post brand new guitar lessons every single day. The goal of this channel is to reach as many people as possible and help the world get better at guitar. So I wanna help you along your journey. Thanks so much for your support. With that said, let's get into the lesson. More today than yesterday, let's break it down. We're gonna be using some very common jazz chord shapes that are great for playing rhythm. We're gonna focus on a straight four rhythm. We're gonna play four down strums to a bar. We're gonna start off with the intro and it sounds like this. The song is in the key of G, and we're gonna be playing a G major seven to a D11, and then a D7. Now the G major seven lasts for two bars, and the notes that I'm playing here, the frets are on the low E string, the third fret, then we mute the A string and play four, four, three, also muting the high E string. It's just your stock G major seven chord. Then we're gonna go to a D11, which is just our first finger barring from the A string down. And you could play five strings or you could play four. That's gonna be our D11. Then we're gonna move to a D7, which looks like a C chord just relocated up on the third fret here we've got. Starting on the A string, five, four, five, three. Now we're gonna play a, two bars of G major seven to a bar of D11 and then a bar of D7. So a one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, D11 and D7. Then that goes again. That's gonna be our intro. It's eight bars long. Now if we strum with that, we're gonna play something like this. a great like chunk a chunk rhythm is what I call it and we're gonna be playing a straight four rhythm so we'll play four quarter notes a one two three four but we're gonna release the pressure of the chord so we're gonna pressure and release and get sort of staccato strums Now sometimes I would throw one eighth note on the and of four, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. And that's just a, another down, but I'm gonna keep it muted. Then we start the verse. Do the same thing. So we've got a 16 bar verse here, and the first four bars are repeated three times, and they're the same as the intro. So G major seven for two bars, to D11, to D7. We're gonna do that three times. Same straight four rhythm. Gonna do that through the whole song. 
Now in the last four bars, we've got a variation we go. And that's B minor 7 to C major 7 to D11 to D7 with one bar per chord. So for B minor 7, we're going to play from the A string down, 2, 4, 2, 3, to C major 7, 3, 5, 4, 5, to D11, to D7. So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, switch, 2, 3, 4, D11, D7, and then we go back and repeat the verse again. So here's the whole verse played as one piece. A 1, 2, 3, 4. The second time, we have a little variation, and this moves us into the bridge. The last four bars through that progression, we're going to have this slight variation. Then we go to the bridge. So for the bridge, we're going to be going to the four chord, the C major 7. And so we come out of the verse, we do that walk up, B minor 7, C major 7, D11, then we go D7, D flat for two beats there in the last bar on beats 3 and 4. Then we hit the bridge, and the bridge goes like this, C major 7, A minor 7, B7 sus, B7. So it's a little four bar progression there. C major seven, same as before. For A minor seven, we're gonna play from the low E, five, mute the A string, five, five, five. Then we're gonna go to B seven sus, which looks like our B minor seven, but we're gonna add our pinky on the fifth fret of the B string. So we'll be playing two, four, two, five. We do that for a bar and then bring the pinky back down a half step for B7. So we've got C major 7, A minor 7, B7 sus, B7. We're going to do this three times. Then we get out of it with what we call 2-5, you know, a, a 1-6-2-5 kind of thing. We're going to play an E minor 7 to an A7 to a D11 to a D7. So we're going to play E minor 7, same as that B minor 7, just relocated up to the 7th fret. A7, we're going to play open A, 5-6-5-5. Five, five, five. So we're going to play a bar of E minor 7, 1, 2, 3, to a bar of A7, D11, and then D7. Then we're back to the A section. There you go, guys. That's a breakdown of how to play more today than yesterday. I hope you got some value out of today's lesson. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Really appreciate your guys' support. Before you go, I've got a free gift in the description below. You can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long all about soloing. Check that out as my gift to you. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.